This video is in response to the skirmish that's been going on between my healers and my warrior friends today. Just want to set a little context about my perspective on where we're at with all of this. Uh, there's a certain archetype system that I'll bring. There's a lot of different versions we can talk about for personality profiling and things like that. But the one I want to talk about today is one uh, that even other people, there's many people who have different versions of what this uh, archetype system works like. But I'm going to tell you my version. So we're going to talk about four different archetypes. One is the warrior, one is the healer, one is the visionary, one is the oracle. And uh, just the quickest, easiest rundown of my take on these four roles. One, the warrior, the good news about the warrior is he charges in, he's not afraid to just charge in and make shit happen, take a lot of action. Uh, typically just charges in and gets a lot of stuff done very quickly. Uh, that's the strong point of the warrior. And he's not afraid to fight, he's not afraid to stand up. Plays a very important role to making change and, and uh, just standing up for things. The next piece is, you know, any, any order really, but uh, the weakness of the warrior is that he doesn't think things through very well and often charges in, destroys a bunch of stuff, and if he's unconscious, will create a lot of messes and uh, can hurt people and himself. Uh, so the oracle over tends to be very methodical and systemized, like he's great with systems and thinking th things through, strategy, things like that, so it's a very important piece. The weak side of the oracle is that he overthinks things and tends to not take the action he needs to take to get things done and create magic, create big results. Then you have the healer. The good thing about the hero is that he's based in love. He, she. Uh, the healer is based in love. And uh, they're just like, hey, all we need is love, which is beautiful because it's true. At the core, it's all love. That's the essence of everything. And it's beautiful. The challenge with the healer is that they don't tend to take as much action as they need to. They're not really typically very good with follow through. And without that edge of, of some warrior in there, they tend to um, not make the difference that they would like to make, and they tend to not make the money they would like to make. So a lot of times they've discovered their passion, they've discovered their purpose, they love what they do, they love serving others, but they just haven't discovered how to make that profitable uh, and uh, that sense of thing. So they just don't make the result for the world or themselves that they would like to in those other areas. Then you have the uh, visionary. Visionary has grand schemes, dreams, goals. They see the big picture. Uh, they come up with great new ideas, things like that. But again, their limitation is they don't take as much action as they could. They're not so good at follow through. So uh, any of us could tend to be in any one of these areas more than the others. And uh, in my perspective, ultimately a guy would learn how, or a gal, would learn how to embrace all four of these areas. But if they haven't embraced their healer, they won't care enough, so their success won't be sustainable and it won't be fulfilling and purpose-driven. If they, that was the healer, if I, I hopefully said that right. The second piece is if they're not connected and embracing their visionary, they won't be inspired, they won't see the bigger picture they won't think outside the box, so they'll stay stuck in a conformed little area and viewpoint. Third is the oracle. Um, if a person hasn't embraced their oracle, they won't uh, be good at systems. They won't be good at thinking things through, so they tend to make mistakes or uh, decisions that can be costly. Uh, and then, of course, if one hasn't embraced their warrior, they tend to not make money. They tend to not create the change they want to create. So ideally, we would go in and embrace all four of these areas and become a person who can uh, call on their warrior, their inner warrior when needed, call on their inner healer when needed, call on their visionary, call on their uh, oracle so that they can accomplish all these things uh, and be in full power and creativity. Next piece is they would uh, surround themselves. If you tend to be stronger in one, you know, surround yourselves with a team uh, that can off offset and balance out the weaker areas for you. 
So for me, I was very much in my healer and I love, love, love the healer. It's all about love for me. Uh, having a clear vision, thinking outside the box is, is important. My weakest areas have been not really thinking these things through, not being a good oracle, uh, being more of a visionary healer, but then consciously choosing to strengthen my warrior and bring more energy from that place so that I could execute more. So since I've done this, I've been much more powerful at following through and taking action. And instead of just dreaming up scheme after scheme after scheme, I've actually been able to follow through with the inspirations that came to me, the love that I was basing it all from, and actually deliver it to the marketplace uh, and make the contribution and the difference that I want to make in the world as well as receive the compensation for that because I'm actually providing value instead of just talking about it. Anyway, I hope this brings perspective and the truth is we need all of these and today there will be a tendency for people to try to uh, choose one side over the other and the truth is, is there are no sides, we are all one we're all here for a common goal. Everyone who's been on my wall today loves big, is purpose driven, and wants to make a massive contribution and difference in the world. Uh, so this is not about sides. This is not about who's right or wrong. This is not about who's a victim. This is not about who's better than the other. This is simply about there are different tribes. There are different people who are meant to lead different causes and make different contributions to the world. And I personally have found a lot of power in stepping into my warrior uh, and, of course, embracing all aspects of myself and continually adjusting in that because uh, no claims to having perfected that or perfectly balanced it all out. I don't know that that'll ever happen, but uh, always just expanding, growing, learning from each uh, experience in life and striving constantly to bring that balance and to learn from each experience that comes along. So if you're out there and you get this and you want to make more money, you know you have a purpose, but you're not making the money, you're not very good at follow through, chances are you need to exercise your warrior more, you need to step into that energy. Uh, and all the other, I mean, you can, you can summarize and get the point of what I'm saying. Point is, I love you all, I appreciate you all. We need every single one of us uh, to pull this off. No camp is better than the next. Do not allow your ego to trick you into choosing sides. This isn't about sides. Polarity is beautiful. Uh, prior to me having this warrior and embracing it, I had lost polarity in my relationship. Uh, I was too feminine. She was too masculine, if that's even true. But bottom line, the results we were experiencing is there is a loss of polarity, a loss of attraction, a loss of passion. Uh, it has helped our relationship tremendously to embrace uh, these aspects of ourselves, for me to step more in my masculinity, for my wife to step more into her femininity. Uh, it's, it's quite a game, quite a, so many moving pieces in this game, so many puzzle pieces to pull it all together. But ultimately, uh, let's embrace our masculine, let's embrace our feminine, let's do it in a great way. Let's create win-win, let's do it all for love, let's be visionaries, let's be it all. Let's make the change, and uh, we can do it with love, we can do it with integrity, we can do it with respect. And the good news is, is true love does not require that we agree. True love allows and creates a container big enough to contain all of our perspectives, all of our viewpoints, all of our approaches. And if there is a God, and however that looks, there is guidance coming to me. I feel inspired by what I'm doing. I know. The other people involved feel absolutely inspired about what they're doing. We are not, this is not a whole uh, experience of we're the true church, they're the true church. Uh, uh, that, that game's already been played. We're both right, we're both wrong, we're all right, we're all wrong. We're all everything. And uh, this can be of service to everyone, or it can be another ego battle about who's right, who's wrong, and who's the biggest victim. So guys, let's not choose sides. Let's choose to learn from it all. Let's unify. We don't have to agree. I have my calling. You have your calling. Let's all stand up, be the change we wish to see in the world. Create an amazing day.